Nothing personal, just business. They told me you had it coming. You... you don't have to do this. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh. Well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. It was nothing worth mentioning. Your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, not worth mentioning, huh? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but. He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Wayne? 